What's up guys, Hawks Destiny here, and we are back in Subnautica again. Okay, well, what's our plan for today? Probably to just explore around, see what we can find. Can turn all these metal salvage into titanium. Probably try and make a repair tool to get this shuttle up and running, because we're running low on power. Got to let that regenerate a little bit. It is still night outside. That is not fun. But we are also going to look for a crash first powder, magnesium, which you can make out of salt deposits. Probably gonna go get some silicone rubber, which you can make from creep vines over there probably won't go that way until morning though inventory is getting a little full might have to drop a, some of this titanium but crash fish they like to hang out did I scan you peeper yeah I did why is it letting me scan you again Crash fish, as I was saying, like to hang out in caves, which is a little dangerous because you might, you can potentially lose your way and just die from lack of oxygen. But looks like day's coming on soon, so that'll help a little bit. Some more salt down here. How much salt do we have? Should have enough to make some magnesium. So all we. Pretty sure I scanned these guys, yes. Oh, they're normal. Alright, that's what it's telling me. Shoot. No, 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 no. There's a whole fish. Pick you up. There's a crash fish that. Well, there was a crash fish there. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. Holy if the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. So, right now I have, what, about a 40% chance of death? Oxygen. I got oxygen. What is this? Sea Glide Fragment. That'll help. Mobile Vehicle Bay Fragment. That's useful. So I got about a 45% chance of death. Another Mobile Vehicle Bay Fragment. A 90% chance of radiation death if I get too close to the Aurora. And then if the hull gets breached or there's anything worse that happens which we all know that there's going to be and then that chance rises to 65% chance of death before I can get Ricky skewed is there anything else around this crash site? no okay let's go get some oxygen see what we got that's probably put that off thank you for the reminder Got a lot of titanium, salt, quartz, got one copper ore, I can make a battery out of it. Alright. Let's head back to the ship. Do something with this titanium. Continue to look for a crash fish while we're heading back. Try and get some crash fish powder. Can you guys like quiet down a little bit? You guys are laughing or moaning or I, I don't even know what what are you anyway? A gasopod. <laughs> Did you just poop at me? Looks dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to be caught in the middle of your whatever you're releasing. Finish scanning. 
Okay, a gasopod. What's your information? Slow moving life form capable of filling the water with poisonous and corrosive compound. Capable of dissolving even synthetic fibers. Assessment and use caution. Okay, so that means we'll just avoid them for now. Hopefully they can keep quiet so I can sleep at night. I mean, although why would I want to sleep? We've got some lead. I'm on an alien planet trapped in a life pod with a scanner to protect me. I don't see how I'm going to be able to sleep anytime soon. Maybe once I get my base up and running, but even then, that's still a couple of ways off. Alright. Is there any way to swim faster, man? I'll pick up a bladder fish because I'm probably going to need water soon. Thank you. Sixty-seven percent power, so that's not bad. Cook up this whole fish. Gelatinous flesh with nutrient with good nutrient value. Thankfully odorless and good eating around the cartilaginous fins. Probably just butchered that. All right, let's eat these. Turn this get uh, bladder fish into water. Cured hold fish. All right. Let's make some glass. Make some magnesium. What else can we make? We need a common coral sample to make bleach, which we can use to make more water. Make another battery. But for our common coral sample, drink some water. We need some... We got a good amount of inventory space. We need some... Creep vine. We also need to find a crash fish to make a repair tool. Hopefully something in here to help us. There is. We can make a sea glide. Stay away from the stalkers. That's weird. The scan is completely straight, but the creep vine is wiggling around. Life on this planet. Further study recommended. There is an oxygen producer right there, so I'll probably use that instead of having to go all the way back to the surface. Inventory is full. Got three of them though. Get a hover fish. The scanner has a good distance, so good range on it. Alright. Let's see what we could do with these creek vine clusters. So, like I said, I am terrified of the ocean. Like, I mean, this is a nut, dude. But once we start getting further into this game, there's going to be a lot more stuff that I'm going to be saying no to. So how about you guys? You guys have, you guys fear the ocean? You guys, because I mean, we know more about what's in outer space, all the different planets and everything. We know more about that than lubricant and copper wire probably should have saved that copper then uh okay carry this carry it with me anyway we know more about what's in outer space than we do Ooh, lubricant uh make some silicone rubber first we know more 
Sorry, I get told you guys, I get distracted really easily. We know more about what is in outer space than what is in our own oceans. And that is something scary to think about because why are you exploring out there when we should be exploring our own backyard? I think that would be more beneficial. Go find some more copper, make some more lubricant. Huh, first try. But yeah, we should be exploring our own oceans before we decide to send a man to Mars. Which, did you guys hear about that? Recently, President Trump signed in a funding for us to get to Mars. What do you guys think about that? You think we'll succeed? I mean, eventually we will, but... You guys think anytime soon? Say that was some fancy knife knife work. Say within the next twenty years, you guys think we'll get to Mars and start establishing colonies? Personally, I hope so because I mean, there's such a vast universe to explore, and we are still stuck in this on our planet for the amount of time that humans have been on Earth. I'll drop some of this titanium. I'll leave those there. I uh, gotta get up 40 meters in 30 seconds. I'm going, I'm going. Thanks for the warning. So basically what I was saying, where did my knife go? I can still swing it around, but there we go. That was weird. It glitched out or something. So basically what I was saying was that the Aurora is going to blow up. Uh, I don't feel so good about that, being so close to it. But... Uh... All right, let's see what we can make with this. Make some lubricant. And all we need is tools. A dive reel and a, a rebreather. That seems like it would be useful. Fiber mesh and a wiring kit. Two copper or so I need to find some more copper and fiber mesh. Alright, let's see what else. What do we need to make a sea glide? Copper wiring also. So I'm gonna have to find at least three more copper ore. Okay, so three more copper ore, some crash fish powder. Uh, and the aurora is going to blow up soon. So a lot of good things to look forward to. More titanium, not what we need right now. There's something to scan. Shadow bug. Alright, let's find this couple hull fish. Not, 30 seconds. Thank you for the warning. Not seeing no crash fish around here. That was weird. Gonna go get some oxygen. Alright. Oxygen. Thank you. I'm on. How horrible would that be to die a meter or two underwater? I mean, have you guys ever seen The Grey with Liam Neeson? It's an awesome movie, but... And, spoiler alert, but one of the guys does die just a few inches, less than a foot underwater. And I, 
you gotta just feel bad for him and you gotta feel that fear that he has knowing he's not gonna make it it didn't just reach all right but that's gonna be all for me today guys if you do like the series please let me know drop a comment leave a like and as always i hope to see you in the next one